Alrighty y'all, here we go with one box, two cakes. Now this is going to make two small cakes in the 8x8 pans that I used. I'm using Duncan Hines Moist Classic Cake. And I am going to start off with a coffee cake. Now I have a mixture here that I made of instant coffee and hot water and I let it cool down. And I'm just going to add a little bit of brown sugar to it just to give it a little, little sweetness, not to be too bitter so that that's just all up to you i've got about a fourth of a cup of coffee there and i just added maybe a fourth of a cup of sugar to it i'm gonna stir that up and then we're just gonna kind of mix a little bit of cake mix in there just to give it some thickness so that it doesn't just lay on top of that cake mix in the pan so i'm gonna stir that up and then you're gonna see that i'm gonna take it and put it in the cake and i'm gonna kind of swirl it around I'm not really going by a recipe or anything, it's just um, something that I just, I kind of like to play things by ear with stuff like this. I get an idea in my head and I go for it, but I have actually made this before. Um, my kids really enjoy it. We're coffee lovers around here, so anything with coffee in it is always good, right? So I'm just going to kind of not mix that in, but kind of swirl it in. I'm losing the word for that now, but you guys and gals know what I'm doing. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of a crumble topping, which, to be honest, did not turn out to be a crumble topping in the end, but it was still delicious. So I've got some brown sugar. I've got so, just a little bit of granulated sugar. And then I'm going to throw in some butter, slightly room temperature. It's not all the way, it's not cold. It's not, you know, it's almost there. And I'm just going to kind of mix that in and then I'm going to throw a little bit of all-purpose flour in there and the rest of that coffee mix. And I'm just going to mix it up to it's kind of the consistency I want. To be honest, if you want this to sit on top and be more of a crumble topping, there's going to need to be a lot more all-purpose flour in there. And, you know, I kind of messed mine up a little bit, but like I said, it was still a delicious cake. It just didn't have that crumble topping that I wanted. It kind of sank into the cake instead of cooking on top of it. Still good, though. And what I'm doing is just dropping it on top of there with my hands, just, you know, kind of laying it out all over the cake and once i've got this done i am going to put this in the oven on 350 for 25 to 35 minutes and that just depends on your oven you're going to have to watch it when it's golden brown and it's nice and spongy on top then it's done so there you have it look at that yummy delicious cake i mean it was absolutely awesome had it with a cup of coffee it was spectacular you can see it's nice and spongy and it's done. It just doesn't have that crumble top. So this one's real simple. I got some frozen pineapple. Got about a cup and a half of that here. And I did have to chop it up. That frozen pineapple came in some really big chunks. And we're just going to add some brown sugar. Not a whole lot. And I added maybe a fourth of a cup and a little bit of butter. And I just added the butter kind of in pieces just broke it off and mixed it up in there and you'll see me doing that right here and once I've got that done I'm gonna lay that in the bottom of the pan and then I'm just gonna put the rest of the cake batter that I had on top of that and I'm also gonna cook this for between 25 and 35 minutes it just depends on how your oven cooks you are just gonna have to watch it and uh, I did use the small pan so if you use a different pan it's gonna cook different this one was yummy just as it was it was just really good i actually liked it better than the coffee cake and i'm a big time coffee lover but this pineapple upside down cake was delicious and it came out pretty but unfortunately it got late it got dark my kitchen is not well lit i'm actually standing next to an open door as i do this video in this part and it was too dark to take a photograph of it, so I didn't get the photograph of the cake when I turned it over, but you should have seen it. It was so pretty. Every piece came out, didn't stick to the pan, just pretty as it could be. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Check out my links down below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Peace, y'all. Bye-bye.